teacher Jackie here wanting to show off my, <laughs> give me five stars or give me five apples, right? I wanted to share some of my ESL tips and tricks, and I wanted to share this with you. If you're an experienced ESL uh, teacher or a real one, <laughs> um, I came in the back door to teaching online. Some of you may have come in more through the front door with better credentials than myself, so this may not be a video for you, but I actually, I would love for you to watch it and tell me what I could do to improve or more resources you could totally share some links below. I'm totally fine with that. Let's go ahead and show and share my screen. Today, I'm going to talk about the letter G. Um, I have another video you can see on other letters. And so we'll share this one today about the letter G. Let me get my, my screen. One momento. Let me put it over here. So that works better. There we go. And share. All right, you should be seeing this a generic blank Google Doc with letter G sound in words. So this was mostly created myself. I have not 100% checked it out. Um, I know it has to be right, but I would be excited for some of you um, to tell me. So like, subscribe, share, and let's get started. Here we go. First, I talk to the students, do you know your vowels? A, E, I, O, U, N, sometimes a Y. And at first they're like vowels, what? And then um, once I say A, E, and then they go, oh, A, E, I, O, U. I have them all up there, okay. And so um, with that being said, um, go ahead and undo that. Uh-oh, there we go. <laughs> so I say the G has a G sound. Now, this is where I don't agree with the hard and soft. I have looked this up. I would call this the opposite of what I think it's really called, soft versus hard G sound. What do you call it? Do you agree with me? G sounds soft. G sounds like a soft G sound to me. <laughs> so anyway, as I teach them that, we talk about G-A, G-O, G-U has the G, gag, go goo <laughs> like a baby and i give them gate goal and gum as sample words good bite there we go and you can of course come up with many other letters but sometimes when you're having the student read or they're talking mostly reading and they say it incorrectly i stop and i go into this as i said in my other um expl explanatory video i you may think you not have enough you don't have enough time you do um especially if they're advanced or m m intermediate learner, whatever, child, teenager, or adult, it's worth this time. They let, they understand that you're just not there to just regurgitate the, the quickly the slides, whatever platform you're using or your own slides or whatever. But the best thing is you're, you're stopping real quick to say, here are the vowels. Let's concentrate on these three for this sound. Then we have the J sound, which I personally think it's the hard G sound. I'm pretty sure I saw something where it flip-flopped. <clears throat> so the G makes a J sound, like a J, and it goes with the letters E, I, and Y. So I have them color-coded. <laughs> so with that being said, I give them the sample words. Gentle, giant, and gym. Gentle, giant, went to the gym. <laughs> and locked the gate. Just kidding. And chewed some gum later. But anyway, I, I really thought it was such um, personally a revelation once I realized this was the the, the case. Um, I am a nerd on a lot of other grammar and um, phonics, but this one, I just, I kept getting students going, you know, English is really tricky to learn. So when you realize that if one letter has two different sounds and they have them because of these um, particular vowels, that is really, really helpful. So I have them uh, see this on the slide, whether it's in the chat, you know, that you may have, or on screen, if you have the ability to do that, whether you're writing it with your mouse, I have a mouse, I don't have a stylus, but, um, or if you um, type it into a text box on the screen. This is extremely helpful. So I hope it was informative to you. If you like it, if you have other tips, tricks for me, I will, I'm welcoming them, opening the door for that. Thank you for your time. 
and for seeing this. And I hope again, for any other beginners, um, it might be new. This hopefully is helpful. Thank you. And again, like, subscribe, or share, <laughs> or comment, but be nice to me. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.